Jared Poland Fro knows photo dot com here with another photo raw photo of the week edit where we want to see what you're going to do with this photo. So we've been asking for trains, planes, automobiles, with people, without people, with dogs, with animals. And I thought that this image would lend itself very well to a multiple assortments of edits, whether it's black and white, color, uh, HDR, sepia. I really want to see what you guys are going to come up with this week for an image like this. And I'm wearing this thing. Uh, it was a Passover thing. So happy Passover to anybody out there who celebrates Passover. So what are we going to do with this image? Well, let's say... What it was taken at, 1 100th of a second, 5.6 ISO 1000, 70 millimeters with the 24 to 70, 2.8 USM Canon EOS 50D. Uh, I would have liked to have seen it shot. What, Lil? Yeah, you can turn the light, leave it on. Uh, Lil's riding her chair yelling, yelling, asking uh, if she should leave the lights on or the TV's on. You can leave the light on. Yeah, you can leave it on. Okay. Okay, I think she got it that time. She's going to leave the light on. Um, so here we go. Let's edit this file. Uh, what I was going to say is I would have liked it. I mean, I shoot a lot of 2.8. Then he could have lowered, or she, he, whoever sh shot this, could have lowered the ISO and, and, and whatnot and saved from whatever. But yeah, saved from this graininess. But what, we're going to play with this. Let's see what we come up with. Plus, it would have separated it from the background. Boom. Hello. Contrast. Hey, look at that. What else could we do to this? That, that, some yellow. There's some interesting things you could do here. I'm not a big fan of taking out just a little bit of color. Let's see if we can make this old world uh, and go really boom, 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 pop, 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 pop. Clarity, black levels, Mr. Fill Light. Let's see what we can do with Fill Light and black levels and make this go extreme. Look at that, look at that, hello. Look at the smoke. How, oh, yeah. The smoke looks almost 3D, D, D, D. I like 3D. So, boom. There was the original. Here we are with the black and white. We made it nice and thick. Now, I think there's something that I... Let's see. How does this do? Nah, that takes away some of my nice contrast. Let's go down here into the detail slider. Um, sharpening? Nah, not too much. I hit my general sharpening as always. Um... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is vignetting? Effects. Wrong way. Ah, you know me. How about if we went with the white vignette? A little bit more, a little bit. Oh, look, there's a person inside the Coatland. Coath, Coath, Coathland. Hello, it's Coathland. Hello, Coathland. All right, let's see what we got with a zero. Uh, I like that, but again, it could be, let's go minus 41 again. Boom. So we're going to try to draw you in, give it a little bit of a darker feel. I actually think that makes it stronger than, than that. Cause yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go back to that. There we go. We're going to go with that. I would love to get rid of this whole area. I wish that was blown out and, and just totally out of focus, but here we go. Anything else? Anything else? Um... TV off, only, you know, the oh. oh, you shut the TV off, Lil? Huh? Yeah, okay. Will you take care of it? I'll take care of the rest. All right, I'm gonna. All right, good night, Lil. Hi, baby. Good night. I'm gonna. Okay. <laughs> You'll check the door. I'll, I'll right? take care of the door. I'll, I'll lock the door. Huh? Yes, I'll lock the door. The door is locked. Oh. You know, you, you have to make sure. Yeah, I'll make sure. Okay, good All right. Night. Good night. Thank you. Happy Passover. Thank you. It was nice today. Glad you enjoyed. Good night. I I'm tired. Oh well, have a good night, Lil. Okay, <laughs> All right, Lil just wanted to say good night, so I I didn't want to stop. Uh, I hope you you don't don't mind. She she makes sure that I I lock the door and turn the lights off. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you can leave it on. <laughs> All right. So here we go. I, I am happy with this edit so far. I really really like. What it did underneath here. Look at the tones. Ah, oh, man. Phil Light did it, I think. Ah, oh, man. No, I don't want to add more Phil Light. But I want to add more black levels. Boom. More contrast or more sat? Yes. Yes. I love this black and white. It almost has a three-dimensional look, and I think the vignetting did it. I mean, it looks like this train is just popping out at me this week. I love this. 
I want to see somebody throw on a 19, you know, sorry, an 1850s Deadwood look. I want to see a sepia, uh, brownish color, just like old world, rip it apart. I'd love to see what Gavin Hoey would do. Maybe I'll send this over to him and see what he would do. But really, let's see what you guys do. Uh, actually, Greg is up. I'm leaving it at this. I'm not even going to go color. Let's see what Greg did. Greg, you are up. Hey, look, this time we got a train. Love this photo, and I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. But I'm going to give you the punchline towards the end. So let's just start out by adjusting my uh, white balance. I'm going to go a little warmer here first. Give it a good amount of contrast, probably somewhere in the middle. Uh, same with clarity. Looking at my histogram, my blacks and my fill light need to come up. But uh, first, I want to add some more saturation over here in these reds. So I'm going to go down here to my HSL panel and go hit my luminance. And I'm actually going to darken that color a little bit. And that effectively will saturate it. And let's, um, oops, that's going the wrong way. There we go. Just want to make it punch just a touch. There we go. That's better. Now let's see what it looks like zoomed out. That's better. Getting there. Getting there. Now, the key to this effect, which I'm going to do, is bringing both our fill light and our blacks real high. Now this isn't something that we can do with a lot of photos, but I think this one it's going to work for. And it's actually going to be better, I think, if we crop it. And I think that tree over there is just bothering me. So I am going to crop that tree out. Um, I know it's a different format <clears throat> than, than what you're used to seeing. But it just bothers me. All that green and all that stuff over there. It just bothers me, so I, I just want to crop it out and get rid of it. Um, there, it's gone. I said it. So, fill light and blacks. It makes this kind. It just I don't know. I don't want to say sharpened, but it's just this really heavy feeling photograph. And uh, you know, by bringing those blacks up and then bringing and playing with those fill lights, the fill light, it just has this different look and it really makes it punch so there it is I think that's real close to my photo maybe a little bit of straightening to make it a little straighter there we go that building's now standing straight uh, it's better but I think that's everything um, I don't think we can do anything with the recovery because most likely those clouds are gone and eh, you got a little more detail out of them by bringing that up didn't really, it doesn't really matter one way or another. Let's take a peek in here. That's good. That's good. Let's go with a little more contrast, maybe. Go all the way. It's good. Man, this is looking awesome now. See, this, I love this. This is, this is cool. This is cool. Something really different. Something, it's, you know, it's really, really punching and you know it doesn't get any better with than this in this particular image you want something that's that's really really saturated at least this is how i see it in my mind this really heavily saturated real strong tones i think i actually went a little bit too far though with my shadows last time let's see you know what? i'm gonna back off on that orange and red a little bit because i think uh they went a little i went a little too far too early and what we do luminance huh just back off of those a touch there we go yeah i think that's it i'm gonna check my white balance once more to see if i want to adjust it at all again there we go i think that's gonna be 59 something 50 what did i say 59 60 yeah there we go 59 it's just warm enough it has a little bit of an orangey tone which is good because it is brickwork and this is all painted red 
but I like it. Let's see how Jared did. And here we are with both edits. We got Greg. He's having trouble with his video, so he's on the right side. I'm on the left side. Uh, first thoughts, Greg, what do you think? I like them both, but I'm glad I cut off the tree. I'm going offline here so we don't get any more people hearing those bumpity bumps. Um, I don't I don't like the crop, personally. Yeah, that tree just really bothered me. The color, I didn't want to go black and white, and with it, you know, that light green color over there, it just really bothered me. Well, that, that's why I went with the vignette. Uh, the vignette uh, draws you into the middle of this image, and I was able to get some really, really, really thick contrast. It almost looks 3D to me. Like the train is actually coming out of the image. If uh, that would have worked for me, but again, I wasn't going black and white. Right. It's all about the color. And, I, you know, there are all these nice warm tones in the building and the dark tones of the train. I think it's too saturated. You look at, look at, the, look at this area right here. You lost all the uh, detail in the, in the bumper. So? Yeah. Gone. So, so did you. Shut up. No, look at that. I can see the rivets. Oh, give me a break. So what? Yeah. I just think it's too poppy and too yellow and too orange. Nah. And too much. Too jumps. much. It jumps. I like it. Yeah, it jumps. Like it. it jumps off the tracks. <laughs> what he should have done was shoot another photo of the guy hanging out the window. Yeah, That's that would have been interesting, have but who knows if you even saw him because the train's moving so quick. Well, it's probably not moving quick. It's probably just starting, but I guess yeah. you can only set up and get so much... Yeah, no, I, I've mentioned in my video that that right-hand side was just... Uh, that's why I wish it was shot at 2.8. It possibly would have blown out, but... Um, Something. Yeah. yeah. It, I, all I wanted was color out of it, and, you know, it was just... Uh, all, I, all I wanted was black and white out of it. I, I didn't even touch the color. I was like, no, nope, not doing it. You didn't even try? No, because I knew I wanted to make it old world black and white. And I also asked for, for people to try to make it an 1890 or an 1850s type feel, Wild Wild West, uh, you know, sepia or, or whatever, just to give it an old world feel, but try a whole bunch of different things. I don't think HDR is going to work in this one, but you never know. I'm sure some people will try it. Yep, we'll see. So, um, other than that... I'm, I'm, we pulled well. I was able to pull out some great contrast. You got some interesting color out of yours, and all from the uh, the Canon 50D file. Yeah, turned out well. There was definitely a, it, was, it started off with a good exposure, and you know when you start out with that that great exposure and obviously a great subject, you can do a lot with it. Well, what's interesting is when I saw the when I get these raw files to uh, fro knows photo at gmail dot com. Uh, when I see the files, they're all they're all flat and blah because. Because that's what the raw file is. So, you know, I see the potential. I see through that blondness. Uh, and basically what I saw in this was that it it had the ability to be tweaked. We could do many different things with this. And I think a lot of you guys out there are going to be able to put some really, really cool edits into this file. Yep. Can't wait to see them. Yeah. So I guess we'll wrap it up there. Um, I went with black and white. Greg went with, what would you call that? A lot of color. How's that sound? Yeah, that, that's an understatement on that one. Uh, so there's a lot of color on that, uh, an interesting crop on that, and uh, and I went with some vignetting, and, and, and it almost looks 3D like it's popping out like the T-shirt, uh, but that that's about it. So get your raw files into froknowsphoto at gmail.com. Please only send one raw file, and why don't you give us a little explanation or some detail behind the photo, how you created it, so that when we're doing it, we know what we're editing and, and the story behind it. Uh, so that is it for this week. I think this is uh, week 22, and uh, thanks, Greg. We'll see you the next time. See you next time. All right. Let's see what you guys do. Good luck. Uh, make sure you uh, put, you know what, put your edits up on Facebook, put them in the forum, and let's see what everybody thinks about them. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya!